remember that they're scared too. Mm. They're stressed too. And by our nature, when we feel threatened, we hunker down and curl in and bring our attention to what's immediately around us. That's understandable. And it's important to keep pushing back against the walls of that invisible cage mm. and realize that they're scared too. They're worried too. They're tired of being scared too. They're tired of you being scared too. Yeah, I think that's a big one. That's going on over there. That's a big one. Another one, stay out of stupid stuff. Mm. Uh, much research on the negativity bias in relationships, you know, shows that negative interactions have so much more impact than positive interactions usually. So the positive ones need to outweigh the negative ones, outnumber the negative ones, five to one or more than that even in a good long relationship, negative from the other person's point of view. Mm. So mm. Uh, it's a little bit like playing chess. You can see the moves in the game. And I can just see, and seeing the chess moves ahead, tick tock, tick tock, hmm. I can stay out of that needless quarrel. Mm. So don't get into stupid stuff. Or if you find yourself getting heated <laughs> or you realize, you know, I have a saying, admit fault and move on. Yeah. One, yeah. Of, the, one of the best things you can do for your own sake, mm -hmm. let alone being moral in your impact on others, is cop to it quickly. <laughs> well, I think that if we're looking for a slogan for the podcast, maybe don't do stupid stuff could now be our new tagline. I think that's a fantastic tagline. So what a doubt. Don't do stupid well, stuff. Well, it's very on your brand. <laughs> yeah, no, Me, it'd sure. be like, do good stuff. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> like, don't, don't do stupid, stupid stuff. stuff. No, it's, it's deeply accurate on so many levels. 